In this question, we can translate what's being told to us in the question stem into the following algebraic expression, where n stands for the net income, g for the gross income, and d for the deductions. Furthermore, we can notate it informally to indicate that g and d have both increased. This informal notation is a trick to make sure that we are getting what's happening when there are changes to the entities in an equation. It can help to clarify that n will go up only if g goes up more than d decreases, since g is positive and d is subtracted. With that in mind, let's go to the data statements, evaluating them separately first. First, statement 1. This information is definitely insufficient, because anything could be going on with deductions. Consider analysis by cases. The deductions could have barely increased or wildly increased, changing everything. Statement 1 is insufficient. Statement 2 is insufficient by comparable logic. In this case, we don't know anything about the gross income, and it could swing wildly in its change. Therefore, it's insufficient. Combining them, we need to be more specific. We know that n equals g minus d. Now the new n, called n prime, is equal to the following expression. How can we compare this to n? Well, if we could factor out the multiples, we could substitute in n for g minus d, and then we would be able to get n prime in terms of n. But we're not able to do that given the multiples here and we still don't know the values of g and d. We can evaluate by cases. If g and d were both 100, then there would be a gain of $8, a loss of $16, and a net loss of $8. On the other hand, if g were 100 and d were 200, the gain would be the same, but the loss doubled for a different net loss. We have insufficient information to determine the change. Therefore, the correct answer is E.